Back to the Hyena by Thylius Moss I should go back because the spotted animal can go for days without drinking, and I have needed Bacardi to give fantasized pirates a liquid medium in which to pilot their ships to my bedroom. They are invited only because they are given to womanizing. Long nights at sea in a rocking vessel conjure images of oscillating hips, not Whistler's mother in her chair quieting an infant. The ship is yet so far off that the flag's black background suggests vultures hovering around human bones and skull that the hyena eats guiltlessly since its closest relative is the Ardwolf. Without that motif, the flag could be a nun's skirt spreading forgiveness as it moves with, not against, the wind. Hyenas have no need for religion unless it's edible, and I don't need dead pirates who wash ashore in the Bacardi bottles I can't get rid of, bad genies who've inhabited the bottles long enough to evolve into hyenas that laugh and whoop after the kill, after they begin to feed. They leave only tatters of black cloth, which could simply be the caribou's bloody velvet that was supposed to fall off. Or, if the idea of forgiveness is correct, then the cloth is from a skirt, and being a nun didn't save me.